Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be going over the Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus. Here, let's uh, change the color to white. Okay, so we want to draw this the Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus. The first step in drawing a Lewis structure is to count the number of electrons, number of valence electrons that the atom has. So sulfur has six valence electrons plus oxygens, six valence electrons, but there are four oxygens, so let's multiply that by four. And this two minus charge means that we're adding two electrons. We're getting more negative. So we need to add an additional two electrons. And this total is equal to 32. Okay. So there should be a total of 32 electrons on our atom. Now, let's try to minimize the formal charge. So, if we minimize the formal charge, the formal charge is equal to our number of valence electrons, and our, we're going to choose sulfur as our central atom. So, that'd be 6. No matter which one you choose, it'll be 6, so that's fine. Minus our bonds plus our dots. So, we got to find out how many bonds in total we need. So, find our bonds plus our total dots. Now, our total dots on the central atom is zero. So, it's just going to be B plus zero. So, we want to have the formal charge equal to zero. That's always what we want. That's when the atom will be most stable. So, 6 minus B equals 0, so B equals 6. So, we want 6 total bonds. So, when we draw the structure, we'll have our, our 4 O's. And we're going to want 6 total bonds. So, we could do a double bond here, and then a double bond, or then a single bond here. Now, for the electrons, this double bond, it'll only have four, because as you can see, oxygen is in the second row of the periodic table. It's going to satisfy the octet rule. But sulfur is going to have an expanded octet, because it's a part of the third, um, the third row of the periodic table. Now, the ones with the single bonds will have six electrons six valence electrons out on the outside. And then, of course, the ones with the double bonds will have four. So, if you count them up, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So that equates to this number right here. So that's how you can check if your Lewis structure is correct, is that that total amount matches that. Okay? Anyways, I hope you like this video, and I will get back to making more chemistry videos. Good.